Hello there Sagittarian fellows, um, I'm also a sun sex, so happy birth month to all of us. Um, as this new moon takes place in our own house, there are two messages from my tarot cards. The first one is that we want to stay away from others. And the second is that um, there are some new beginnings, new opportunities, but we are afraid to accept them. We are afraid to take initiatives, so there are some misgivings, there is some hesitation going on. Um, the first message might sound paradoxical because after all it's our birth month, birth month and Sagittarius is, um, known for ha is known for having lots of friends, isn't that? Um, but then, like, um, astrologically it's not that strange because um, it's a new moon in our own house and new moon means opportunity and you know moon and, um, you know, women have their monthly, right, have their periods and uh, it's called menses, it's called menstruation and in the past um, those um, young maids, okay, maidens, um, virgins, they used to stay away from people when the periods came, okay, and it was also a tradition in some places that when there was a new moon people used to go retreat because they want to boost their energy, they want to reflect, they want to know what to do given all these opportunities Okay, so um, as I want to blend my tarot results with um, what's going on up there, so here are the um, here are the um, my interpretations. Um, sun conjuncts moon in our own house, but there are not any special aspects, which means that the new opportunity is not really attractive to us. Um, our ruler is domicile in Jupiter, its own sign, so it's really powerful, and at the same time, it's trying. Do you see? Do we see trining? Or it is trying, okay? Or it trines? I don't know what to say. Okay, it trines. Um, the retrograding, uh, the retrograding, um, um, Uranus or Uranus in Taurus, okay? And this is actually really special, really special aspect. Cause why? Um, I I don't I don't mean it's a really special aspect, but it's a really special occasion. It's a really special case, because normally when there is a trine, it means um, let's say um, the Jupiter in, in our own sign, it should be trining, um, a planet, in Aries, but then given the the degrees are really close to each other, now Uranus or Uranus is in Taurus which is not a fire sign, but we are a fire sign, and Taurus is an earth sign. So this again means that the opportunity, the harmony is not really that harmonious. The new opportunity is not really that attractive, because it's, it's just because of the close degrees, that, um, so that there is this kind of trine, but it is not a normal trine, okay? So again, it echoes with the message um, from the new, uh, from the moon conjun conjun conjunct sun, okay, which is that, because there is no aspect, there is no other aspect um, regarding this moon conjunct sun, so which means that this new opportunity is not that attractive to us, okay, and because um, this is, um, uh, this trine has something to do with Uranus, and it is um, the, the ruler of our third house, okay, so this means this new opportunity comes from our siblings, our relatives, our friends, even our neighbors, okay? So this means that they want to celebrate with us. They want to celebrate our birthday with us. Um, they want to see us. But then we are not so excited because we see this as a commitment. We see this as a duty instead of a chance for us to express ourselves, instead of a chance for us to have fun, to enjoy ourselves. Yeah, so this is one thing we have to pay attention to. And also by looking at... Um, uh, the retrograding Uranus in Taurus, which is also in opposition to Mars in its own sign in Scorpio, okay? And also is, is, is in domicile, it's really um, powerful right now. Okay, so when we do those, um, um, how do you call that? Perfection? Yeah. Maybe it's perfection. I, I don't know. I don't know in English, but but then it's uh, let's say perfection, um, astro those astrological perfection. So we can see that several more reasons why we don't want to see others, or we are afraid to accept these opportunities. So here are the reasons. First of all, we are quite busy being in love. Okay. So let's say we just began a new relationship. So we have to spend more time with our boyfriends and girlfriends. 
okay? Second of all, we are busy with our kids. So if you are a Sagittarian parent, so you're busy with your kids now, okay? And the third of all, if you are in the show business, okay, or if you just go, go on stage, you, if you are a performer, an artist, so recently you've been busy with some shows, okay? And um, fourth of all, again, because you don't see this as a, as a chance to express yourself, to be your authentic self. You see this as a duty, as a um, commitment. So um, you are not going to enjoy that. And that's why you don't want to see others. That's why you are afraid to accept these um, chances, okay? Especially those chances from your friends, siblings, relatives, even neighbours, okay? And uh, two more reasons. One, one is that you are just being lazy. The second is that um, after being sick, you have to recover. So you are like um, always sleeping, staying in bed. So you just want to take a chill pill. Yeah, that's why you don't want to see others and you are afraid to accept new opportunities. But then I have to tell you this. If these opportunities or if these um, rendezvous, if these um, invitations come from three signs, which are Gemini, Aquarius and Virgo, then you really have to accept these new chances, these new opportunities or these invitations. You really have to mingle with them because they are um, your lucky stars, okay? These are auspicious signs for you. These chances bode well, okay? So you really have to accept this, especially, especially when these invitations or opportunities, whatever, happen on the 10th, the 10th of December, okay? Plus or minus three days. Plus or minus three days. Plus or minus three days. Then in this case, you really have to accept these chances because they are going to um, give you a super energy boost and they are going to bring you good luck. Yeah, so good luck to all of us, Sagittarian friends.